Assalamu alaikum wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. I pray inshallah you guys are all well. Today is the 8th of the Hijjah, uh, which means, of course, the anticipation is there, inshallah, for tomorrow's day, which is the 9th, which is the day of Arafah. And Arafah is is really the, the, the most amazing of days. And the Prophet of Allah says that Al Hajj Arafah, Hajj, in fact, is Arafah day. It's where everybody gets together in the same place on Arafah. Um, we're going to speak about that, inshallah, tomorrow. Uh, but for today, it's like uh, I think a good reminder would be to prepare yourselves, you know, for that day. Uh, you know, good things in in life are established, uh, really made true because of the determination and and preparation that goes into those things. Inshallah. So if you treat tomorrow as a day of of great happening, uh, the, the day in which the Prophet of Allah said Allah frees more people from fire of Jahannam, uh, Arafah day. It's the day in which you know, the fasting person, he has two years of sins forgiven. It's the day of dua, day of, 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 of beseeching, of, of asking, of imploring of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we'll talk about that inshallah tomorrow. But what about today in terms of prepare, preparing for tomorrow? Uh, I want all of us to think about a seeking of forgiveness. So we'll speak tomorrow inshallah about Allah's, Allah's profound divine mercy. Uh, and Allah's showing of forgiveness to His servants. But I think upon us, of course, is to be of those who always ask Allah for forgiveness. Uh, the Prophet of Allah says that Adam all of the sons of Adam make sins and mistakes. And all of the sinners and the best of the sinners are those who make r- repeatedly tawbah, tawabun, meaning frequently asking Allah for forgiveness. And so always be of those who are always saying Astaghfirullah always returning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what does it mean to make a tawbah is a ruju il Allah. It means to re- return back to Allah. So when a person commits a sin, that means he was away from Allah. He was distant. But in asking for forgiveness, you're, you're seeking closeness back to Allah. And that's something that we should do all the time. The Prophet of Allah says that, Ya ayyuhal nas, or people, tubu ila rabbikum. Or people repent to your Lord for, for, indeed, for indeed I repent to my Lord a hundred times a day, uh, which means a lot of times in the day. So always find moments, uh, you know, to just return back to Allah. Uh, and we mentioned before about the, the duha prayer, which is a prayer of the awabin, and the awabin are those who constantly return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And make sure we, you know, you're going to keep that up because that's one of the first things that we mentioned. So keep up the good practices. Uh, intend, of course, you know that you know whatever you've managed to ab- obtain or do in these ten days of so far, uh, you're going to keep them up, inshallah. So again, increasing in Allah's remembrance. Um, and tomorrow, of course, is a fasting. If you, if you can fast, it's really wonderful to fast, inshallah, tomorrow's day. Um, and it's a long fast, so be prepared for it. Uh, but Allah give you patience, inshallah, and determination, and increase you all in goodness. And uh, and just I think you know for today's reminder, just prepare yourselves for tomorrow. Uh, but uh, think about forgive. So what forgiveness means basically uh, is that Toba has three conditions. So one of them is that you stop the sin that you're committing. That's the first thing. So you can't, of course, ask for forgiveness and you're still committing the sin that you're seeking Allah to forgive you for. That doesn't make sense. And number two, that you make a, a promise to Allah that you will never return to that sin. And then number three, that you make a, a nadam, you have remorse uh, over your sin. These three conditions should be there. So today, therefore, whatever you know, you're going to seek Allah's forgiveness for, make sure that you're not committing that sin. Uh, leaving sin, in fact, is the most obvious first step towards repentance. Leave the sin that you're committing. And there is a fourth condition, which is that you need to make amends with those that you've wronged. So it could have been, therefore, that you know, you've know wronged people, uh, said bad words to people, done bad things to people. Uh, but to make amends with them is also part of repentance because you would need their forgiveness. You, you would need that sense of um, you know amicability again between both of you to, to make amends between people. Is essential here so um, you know so I mean use today inshallah to do as much as you can inshallah in preparation for tomorrow may Allah increase you may Allah make uh, today's day a great day tomorrow's day a great day 
uh, and uh, and of course the day after the day of Eid as well. Um, you know, if you haven't given your qurbani, do it now. Inshallah, give sadaqah still, and just do as much good as you can, inshallah as you can. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is um, is al Karim, and Allah is al Latif, and Allah is a Shakur. Allah is accepting of His servants' efforts in life, and it is not your efforts. It is not like your deeds that will lead you to heaven. That's very clear from the hadith, but it is all bound by the great bounty and mercy and, and grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah in the Quran says, وَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ مَا مِنْكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدْ That if it wasn't for the grace and the mercy of Allah, none of you would have attained purification. But Allah, Allah purifies whom He wills. And that, by the way, that, that opening of that verse is repeated throughout the Quran. If it wasn't for the grace and mercy of Allah, and Allah is still Rabban Hakim, and other verses as well. So we're all bound uh, really by that grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, so something for us to remember. Allah bless you. Tomorrow, inshallah.